My yard's very shady, but I picked this place because it gets some sun, and I'm going to have to focus on vegetables that can tolerate less than six hours of direct sunlight. Unfortunately, I cleared this really early, and a lot of weeds have taken over. I'll show you what we can do with them. Because I'm making an organic garden, I can't use pesticides on these weeds. I could cut them down with a lawnmower, but some of them might be able to repropagate asexually through their roots. The way to get rid of weeds for sure is to pull them out by the roots and then throw mulch on top. If you're pulling weeds out, take them up and by the bottom to make sure that you get all the roots. Then drop them somewhere where they won't be able to seed, like a driveway. And let them dry out before you take them anywhere else. After they're dried, they can be thrown in the compost or back onto the soil where they came from. We constructed a bucket so that we can see the compost as it is composting. There are also small oblong holes in the compost bucket so that the soil, or the soil being made, can get aerated but pieces won't fall out. This is a good size because all of the soil should be well aerated. We never wanted to make a compost pile more than five feet high because in the middle the bacteria won't get oxygen and anaerobic bacteria will start which makes it pretty stinky. First, we're going to add a large layer of brown material. Leaves are a very good source of it. We can also add our shredded up newspaper or paper towels. Now we're going to add a layer of green material, like coffee grounds and bananas. On top of the green material, we'll add some soil to prevent bugs. We add the brown layer again, and it's filled with lots of carbon. This should be the bigger layer. And again, we'll add green material, which mostly has lots of nitrogen. Manure is also a good thing. We have in here guinea pig manure, which is fine, but cat and dog manure does not work well because it can give us diseases. We'll add a tiny bit of water, but we don't want to soak our compost. Finish with brown material. Make a dip in the compost on the top to allow in rainwater. In a few weeks, you'll want to turn the compost if it seems like it is composting. You'll only need to turn the compost a few times before it's finished. Adding worms will help aid in this. When the compost feels like it's not hot anymore, just stick your finger into the middle of it, then it's done composting. The heat comes from bacteria, and if there's no heat any longer, the bacteria are done with their work. Finished compost should look like this. Okay, I have my two beds here, which are filled not quite to the top with dirt, but almost. We have deer netting. Um, it's hard to see, but it's up about six feet, and a number of poles tied off with these.
Here we have a marigold, which is great for keeping bugs away. So we dig into the soil. Really very shallow, small hole. Each one of these sections holds a baby plant, so there are three right here, and they're gonna, this is going to become three purple cabbages. There's a sign that comes with every plant that says what the plant will look like when it's full grown and how far to space each plantlet, baby plant, apart. So I'm planting the cabbage. It needs at least a foot of its own space, so I've measured that out. And it's going to get this area. I'm using a spoon because these are very small. I don't need anything bigger. So we're planting lettuces right now, which can be 4 to 12 inches apart. I've measured each one 6 inches apart. Now we'll plant them like this and kind of mound up around them rather than put them under the level of my soil. All right, right now I'm planting pumpkin seeds, which require a little hill so that they can go over the tire. These pumpkin seeds, Lumina pumpkins, will be white on the outside and orange on the inside. They need to be about one inch down in the soil, so I've measured my index fingers. The top joint is about one inch. Each pumpkin seed needs to be three inches apart, so I have my ruler. And, alright, so I have one here, and the next one will be right here. Then I use the top of my index finger that I measured to go into the soil one inch, try not to compact the soil so that the roots can get through, and you just drop the seed in and cover it up a, very lightly. Thank you. 